You know, in a few minutes, I want to ask you a very important question. But there was a time that I was a drug addict and a horrible husband, a horrible father. It was unbelievable the way that I treated the people around me. And the truth is, is I grew up in the Bible Belt, so I constantly heard messages about Jesus. I constantly heard, you need to give your life to the Lord. I constantly heard those things. And the truth is, is I really didn't know what it meant. I didn't know what it meant. I just, I saw church people and I didn't like that. And so I rebelled against it. And it really set me on a path of destruction. And one of these days I'll make a video and share my entire testimony. But the truth is, I really needed Christ in my life. I have a very important question to ask you. If anything were to happen to you right now, where would you spend your eternity? You know, heaven and hell is very real. And it's my heartbeat that you are in heaven, that you understand that Jesus was sent to be your savior. Romans 10 and nine says that if you believe in your heart, you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, then you're considered a saved person. You're considered somebody whose name is written in the Lamb's book of life. And I don't wanna weigh you down with a bunch of biblical theory, but I do wanna tell you that Jesus loves you dearly. Jesus came and walked this planet, performed tons of miracles, but the greatest miracle is a supernatural moment knowing that you can accept Jesus as your savior right where you are, no matter what you're dealing with, no matter what you're struggling with, no matter what life is thrown at you, Jesus wants to help you. All you have to do is pray and accept him, believe in who he is, believe that he gave his life for yours. He laid down his life so you could live a great life. If you would, just pray this prayer right after me. Say, Father, I believe that you sent Jesus to die for my sins. I accept Jesus as my Savior. I am grateful that he died on a cross and he rose again for me. I thank you that I'm saved. I thank you that I will be in heaven and I will live in heaven on earth. Amen. If you prayed that prayer, I want you to let me know. Put salvation in the comments, send me a direct message, do something. But the truth is, is you are now completely new creation. Just that simple, completely new. The beautiful moment here is that you are not who you were just a few minutes ago. You are now somebody that's covered by the blood of Jesus and he really wants to disciple you and teach you and help you learn. How that happens is there, there's a few things you need to know. You need to get into a good Bible believing spirit filled church. If you're in central Alabama, come see us at gathering church. Look us up on YouTube. You can watch us on Facebook. We're live all the time. We're here for you, but you need to get into a good Bible based spirit filled church and let them teach you the concepts and the precepts of the Bible teach you what Jesus gave you. Also, you need a Bible. You absolutely need a Bible. In this day and time, you can download a Bible for free on your phone. Don't get caught up. Don't get caught up in all the translations. Don't get caught up in all of that. Just get you a good Bible and begin to learn. Start in the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Start in the Gospels and learn who Jesus is. The beautiful thing about your life now is that you get to move forward and accept that you are not hated. Jesus loved you with an undying and unfailing love. And he now is your big brother. Listen, again, let me know if you prayed that prayer. Put it in the comments. Send me a direct message. Go to alanbailey.life and send me a message. Go to gatheringchurch.life. Send us a message. We would be more than happy to reach out to you and do anything we can for you. You are now a kingdom kid, and I'm so excited for you. It's been a great honor for me just to pray with you. I want to tell you that you're loved. You're not just loved by Jesus, but you're loved by us here. We pray for you. We put this content out just for you. We pray that this reaches out and touches anybody and everybody that needs to know that no matter what they're dealing with, they're loved, they're cared about, and Jesus is Lord of their lives. I love you so much. I really do, and I hope to hear from you soon. You know, praying that prayer is very important. Your life is different now. It's going to be different. Doesn't mean it's going to be easy. But the truth is, is Jesus is there. We're here. Not all churches are good. I hate to say that, but not all churches are good. When I said to you earlier that you needed to find a good Bible-based, spirit-filled church, I mean that. You need to find a place that really exhibits the love of Jesus where you see it in the hearts and in the eyes of people. 
There are good people out there that will love you right where you are. Jesus loves you right where you are, but he loves you enough not to leave you there. He loves you enough to challenge you to be better. He loves you enough to teach you how to be like him. That's the whole point of the Bible. The Bible is not a book of rules and regulations. The Bible is the heartbeat of Jesus Christ for you. Jesus came and did things so you could walk in a whole new level of living. Oh, if I could just tell you how much he loves you. You know, when I was a drug addict, I didn't think anybody loved me. I was married, I had children. I knew what human love was about, but I was so empty. I was so empty. And I just want you to know that you don't have to be. You really don't have to be. Salvation's not a book of rules and regulations. It is a set of standards. I've changed my entire standards. I never changed my rules. I just ran into something that I wanted to encounter more of. That's how much He loves you. He is so good that He just wants you to encounter more of Him every chance that you get. I love to pray. I love to worship. I love to listen to good music and lift my hands and, and just talk to the Lord because He is so good to me. He cares about me where I am. He helps me in every situation that I'm in. That's what you have now given your life to. It's not just an issue of going to heaven. That's not the point. I, I think that's a great end to the point, but there's so much more. You get to walk in heaven on earth. You get to experience what Jesus experienced on this planet. You get to listen to him and you get to do what he says. And by doing what he says, it opens up amazing doors in your life. It's not about rules and regulations. It's really not. It's really not. It's about loving people where they are. And just think, God is calling you to love people in the same situations that you find yourself in. How amazing is that? That God will take you from the mess that you're in. Turn it all around and give you an anointing and a grace to be able to go and minister to people and love them where they are, just like we love you where you are. God loves you where you are, and He loves you enough not to leave you there. He wants to pull you out of all that stuff. I'm going to tell you something that's a little hard to hear, but I deal with men every day. I have a biblically-based men's home here at our church, and we deal with drug addiction, and we deal with all kinds of things. You have to change your playground and your playmates. You have to change your playground and your playmates. That's how we get better. Doesn't mean that God won't make those people around you, uh, uh, that he won't turn their lives around as well, but they have to accept him just like you did. Who knows, you may be the evangelist that goes into their life and helps them change. But I want you to know, I want you to know that you are not alone. You're never alone. You need to learn how to accept love and you need to learn how to live in that love. We love you here. We're praying for you constantly. And I want you to know that God has a great plan for your life. God's not mad at you. He is not, listen to me, He is not mad at you. He has a great plan for your life. And He wants to do amazing things through you. So let Him. Just let Him. It's going to be great. It's really going to be great. Send me a message. I want to hear from you. It's been a great honor for me just to pray with you. I want to tell you that you're loved. You're not just loved by Jesus, but you're loved by us here. We pray for you. We put this content out just for you. We pray that this reaches out and touches anybody and everybody that needs to know that no matter what they're dealing with, they're loved, they're cared about, and Jesus is Lord of their lives. I love you so much. I really do. And I hope to hear from you soon.